If you're having trouble printing with the HP Photosmart 5520, then you're gonna wanna watch this video. Hey you guys, what is going on? The Printer Guy here, and today I've got the HP Photosmart 5520. Essentially what I'm gonna be doing is I'm going to be using this cleaning kit to solve a problem that this printer has. Now, I've worked on this printer before. I even have a video on this channel some years ago where I ended up uh, cleaning the print head on this printer, but I didn't use the process that I'm gonna use in this video. This is the most up-to-date process that you can use to solve this problem. So stay tuned, watch from the beginning of the video all the way until the end, there's a lot of instruction you're not gonna wanna miss. If this video ends up being helpful, please make sure to like, any questions at all, comment below, and if you want more content like this, please make sure to subscribe. All right, so essentially what has happened is, has become clogged, and so you're not able to print a certain color, you're printing blank pages, or you have an overall and general print quality issue. If that is the case for you, you're gonna to wanna to use the Best Printers Cleaning Kit. There's gonna be a link for it down in the description below. Essentially, you take this kit, instructions on the back of the packaging, in the packaging, in this video, you have a lot of instruction. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the fluid, you're gonna put it in the syringe. There are attachments that come with this kit. You're gonna use those attachments, attach it to the various print head nozzles. We'll talk more about what that is later on in the video. And you will begin to push this fluid through the print head, and that is gonna break up the blockage, and it's gonna allow for new ink to come into the system and get you back to printing normally again. You're gonna to need to buy some new ink before you do this cleaning. So I'm gonna be leaving a link down in the description below for the HP ink specifically for this printer. You're gonna to need to buy that because most likely you're running low on your current ink. Even if you're at 50%, that is what is causing the issue. So there'll be a link for these two products down in the description below. You can pause this video, go down there, click the link, come back and watch the rest of this video. There's gonna be chapters down below for the second time you watch. I always recommend the first time you watch all the way through. Second time, you may wanna skip around a little bit. All right, so I hope that this video ends up helping you solve your problem. If you have any questions at all, comment below. Without any further ado, let's get started with this cleaning. All right, so the very first thing we need to do is go to settings. That's the wrench at the top right corner. Click on tools, and then we're gonna print off a print quality report. This is very important because this is gonna show us, is it printing blank pages? Is the printer not printing a certain color? So I'm gonna put up on the screen what this report should look like and what it actually ended up coming out to be, which was totally blank on this printer. All right, so we're gonna put this report off to the side. We're gonna go under settings again, tools, and you're gonna print off another report. As the document is printing, we are going to unplug the power cable from the printer. Yes, when you hear it starting to print, when you hear the paper get taken up into the printer and it starts to print on that paper, you can hear it distinctly, you unplug the printer. Now the whole purpose of doing this is so that the print head will be unlocked. And once it's unlocked and we have access to the ink cartridges, we can now begin to remove the ink cartridges. And this is where we can begin the setup process to actually clean the print head. As you see, as I remove the ink cartridges, now the print head is available to work on. So these are the ink cartridges I went with. You're gonna need to buy new ink when you're doing this process and preferably you buy some remanufactured ink so it's a lot less expensive. There's gonna be a link for the ink I ended up using down in the description below. Next, a very important part of this process is using paper towel. Now this can be any paper towel that you have in the kitchen or in the garage. In this case, I ended up using some heavy duty paper towel. If you have access to heavier duty paper towel instead of just the really thin paper towel, go with the thicker one because you're gonna need this to absorb all of the fluid and dried up ink that's gonna be pushed through the system. Okay, now we're gonna be using the Best Printers Cleaning Kit. If you haven't already, the link down in the description below or somewhere here on the screen. You can make a purchase, come back and watch the rest of this video, and you'll have it coming on the way. These are the three attachments you're gonna need. Now the silicone tubing is already attached to the syringe. I'll show you that in just a moment, but this yellow piece with this small L-shaped plastic piece is gonna be for the colors, magenta, cyan, and yellow. You're gonna attach that, and th this is if you're having trouble printing with color. If you're having trouble printing with black, just stay tuned. I'm gonna show you the attachment that we're gonna need to use specifically for the black ink nozzle. This yellow one is only for color, magenta, cyan, and yellow. And you're gonna take 
this attachment, attach it to the silicone tubing, which is already attached to the syringe on this product. And you're going to fit that over whatever color is giving you the most issues. So this is where you're gonna refer back to that report. If only one of your colors is giving you trouble, faded, not printing at all, whatever it might be, that is the color you're gonna focus on the most, the color that is giving you the most issues. If it's a blank page issue, none of the colors are working, you're going to clean every single color. If there's only two colors, you're gonna focus on those two colors. If there is not a hint of print quality issues with the other colors, do not touch them. There's no need for it. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is just focus on the colors you need to work on. I would say push about 10 to 20 milliliters through each color at a time that you're having trouble with. So that way you have enough to space it out. If you need to clean all four, you have 100 milliliters. 20 divided into the 100, it gives you at least four colors and it'll give you some leftover at the end of the day as well. So how do you know which nozzle to clean as far as color? Well, at the top right corner of the screen, you can see it's going in and out, but there is a pattern at the top of the printer right next to where the print head normally would sit if you're changing out the ink. Those are the colors. And also you remove the ink, so if you remember that pattern, you also have a little bit of ink residue left over on the nozzle. And once you clean it, that's gone. But that's how you're gonna determine which nozzle is which color. Now, if for some reason you are trying to push this solution through, and it is not budging or it is going extremely slow to the point where you're not even getting anything through there any solution in that nozzle what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to step back flush the solution that is in the syringe warm up the solution and i have a video on my channel showing you how to do that and that way you can apply reapply warmed up cleaning solution to this print head that's what it's going to need you you can't use room temperature cleaning fluid uh, if that is the case that's because the blockage is just so jammed up and so hot fluid or warm fluid you don't want it to be piping hot warm fluid will allow there to be a flow and allow that blockage to be broken up now you can see why your normal print head cleaning function on your printer uh, through the settings through the maintenance is not working because this is a more extreme a more difficult problem that requires a cleaning kit such as this Okay, now I'm gonna show you which attachment you need to use for the black nozzle. It's gonna be this larger attachment. And essentially what you're gonna to need to do is attach that L-shaped piece, attach it in a way where everything fits tight. So as long as everything fits tight and there's not gonna be any leakage or any uh, detachment when you begin to apply pressure, that is exactly what you wanna do. And in this case, exactly how I installed it is how it ended up working out where there was enough pressure to push cleaning fluid through the black nozzle it was able to clean it and we were good to go now this part of the video is sped up so i don't want you to get the impression that i'm pushing fluid through this quickly it probably took three or four times that amount of time it was a slow progression of pushing cleaning fluid through i'm just doing this for your sake so that we can move along quickly in this video that paper towel at the bottom you see that i have not switched it out but you can definitely switch that paper towel out after the first 10 milliliters of you doing the cleaning. And honestly, it would be better that way. I usually neglect to do that, but if you don't want a big mess on your hands and a leak, and also I did end up getting a leak with this printer and I had to end up putting paper towel at the bottom anyways. So go that route, make sure you use plenty of paper towel. This is absolutely important. Please listen to this part. You need to wait 24 hours before you plug the printer back in. After you've done this cleaning, I don't care how much you've dried it off, you need to wait a 24 hour period for everything to totally dry and then you can plug the printer back in. All right, so this is the remanufactured ink I ended up going with. You get three black ink cartridges and the rest are color. I was very satisfied with the product and so I highly recommend it. Link down in the description below. Now once all of these ink cartridges are installed while the printer is off, you can now begin the process of plugging the printer back in, powering it on, and we are not done with the cleaning process. You're gonna get a message that indicates you've installed non-HP ink cartridges. Just click OK. Now we're gonna look at how much ink the printer is registering, and it's 100%. We're good to go. Now we're gonna click on the settings, we're gonna to hit tools, and we're going to actually go all the way down and clean print head. This is what we want to select. Under tools, under settings, clean print head. 
you're going to allow this process. Now, why are we doing this if we already cleaned the printhead? Well, the purpose of doing this is actually so that the ink is pushed back into the system. And you can see here, it's going to print a report when it's done with that cleaning. So in this case, this ended up working phenomenally the first time. This may not be exactly the results you end up getting. You may have to do the clean print head three, four, five, six. I've done it seven to 10 times before, before you actually see results and the printer begin to actually start printing normally again. So I was fortunate enough to have it work on the first time. As I said, this may not work the first time. Now I ended up printing off another report just to confirm 100% that all of the colors are back to normal. Now, are these results guaranteed? No, oh, absolutely not. But it's definitely worth a shot, especially if your printer is already not working. Do this DIY project. If it works, you save yourself hundreds of dollars. Really add everything up, the ink, uh, the new printer you would have to buy, the, the time and the effort. It really is worth it to go this route. So remember, I was able to fix this printer with the best printer's cleaning kit. I cannot speak to other cleaning kits. I really hope this ends up working for you. If you have any questions at all, comment below. If this video was helpful, please make sure to like. And if you want more content like this, please make sure to subscribe. That's really all I have for now. Thanks so much for watching and until next time.